Well, good morning, everyone. We are back from being a winter Texan, back at home in central Arkansas, and Angel's inside doing some serious spring cleaning after spending a month in there down in uh, Mission, Texas, and I am putting up an awning support. So, Carefree said any awning longer than so many feet needs to have a center support. So I went ahead, got online, and bought a center support and I'm going to go ahead and get it mounted. Okay, here is the awning support I bought. Alright, so that mounts, I'm going to mount that directly to the wall. Here's the cradle that rocks back and forth as it goes in and out. See a bunch of screws and a big giant black plate. Um, I'm going to try and not use this. I'm going to try and instead of mounting this to the wall, outside wall of the RV, and then mounting this to the plate, I'm going to try mounting that directly to the wall. Um, it's adjustable, and if I can find the stud, that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. Okay. For starters on this project, um, the kit comes with a plate and the, the cradle itself. I'm gonna try and not use the plate and just mount the uh, cradle itself directly to the stud. So I reached out to Jayco and got all the diagrams for both walls, the roof, the front, the cab over, all the wall diagrams, all the electrical diagrams, um, all the plumbing diagrams, I, basically everything based on this coach, based on the VIN number, so it should be very, very accurate. All right? Well, let's take a look at accuracy. According to this, this should be a 2x2 two two stud right here next to the refrigerator. And then 12 inches over here, this should be a double stud. Well, I started looking and looking and looking, and a 2x2 two two metal stud here, the closest stud is actually right here. So, my diagrams from Jayco. Had to figure it out on my own. So I took this apart and figured out where it was. So I know that there's a stud right here. So what I'll be able to do, let's see if I can tilt this back a little bit. Well, maybe not. What I'm gonna do is drop a plumb line along the edge of the outside TV and mark up here where I'm gonna be drilling and mounting the cradle support or the cradle support for the awning. Let's see how it goes. All right, well, now that I know where the stud is or where the stud isn't, where it's supposed to be, I'm just gonna use a plumb bob and mark up top the center of the stud. I know the center of the stud is right here. So if I drop a plumb bob, That should be about the center of the stud, so we'll do a little mark here. I hope it shows up on the board. Yeah. The black sharpie doesn't work too well on black paint, but as you can see it. And I'm hoping that the stud I found down here actually goes all the way up to the top. We shall see. Okay, I'm gonna take this, place this up there, and mark the center holes on where I need to drill. Again, black Sharpie on black paint. There's the center line. And I had Angel test it while I was holding it. You're not supposed to push up on it. You're supposed to just give it a little bit of pressure. Because if you look, when I don't have any pressure, see how much it wiggles? And if I just put a little bit there, not pushing up on it, but just hold it there, you'll see it doesn't wiggle. So this is where it goes. Let's see if I can mark these. I'm 
drill a hole there, and I'm gonna have to get this out and then mark the top one and then drill my hole for that one. <laughs> Nothing scarier than drilling a hole inside of the RV. <laughs> I've incorporated Angel's help to hold the flashlight so I can see the top hole or top mark. I think it's right there. Shine the light right there if you can. I am. There it is. I see it. No, nope, I lost it. Man, I just can't see it. There it is. Right there. Three, two, one, go. Did not hit a stud. That sucks. All right. Reevaluate. I may just have to use the plate. Or it may be strong enough just on that. But I can't believe the stud is there. Why isn't the stud up here? Uh, you're kind of over to the right. Here. Well, the stud is right here. It's a two inch stud right here. Uh -huh. And I just assumed, because the drawings were useless from Jayco, I just assumed that two inch stud went all the way up. Uh -huh. Maybe it doesn't. From right here. I used a plumb bob from right here where I found the stud down from opening up the TV. But it went in the styrofoam. All right, I'm gonna have to reevaluate this and rethink this. Okay. All right, so what I've decided I'm gonna do, I'm not sure if it's the right way or not, but um, because my original plan was just to use these two into the stud, which I couldn't find, which I'm surprised it doesn't go all the way up, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do what they recommend and use this plate. And that'll give me four screws into the side of the RV for extra strength, plus the, these two that come in here. So it'll be six screws holding this plate up there. So hopefully, even though there's no stud, that should be enough. And of course, I'm gonna have to seal all six of them when I, when I go to put it on eventually. So I was hoping this was gonna be an easy job. It turned out not to be as easy as I thought. So what I'm doing and on this plate is I marked where the hole is that I already drilled in the side of the RV with this butted up against the trim, as high as it'll go. And then centered on this, I got that mark right there. That's where the center screw, or the top screw, I'm gonna use the top, the top screw is gonna go right there. And then from that, I was able to get the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill these two screws or holes first so that I have that lined up and then I can make sure that I get it lined up with the hole that I've already drilled missing the stud. Once I have that in place then I can mark these four and get those drilled and screwed in and once I get all the holes drilled, six of them inside of the RV now instead of two, I will then um, take it off, seal everything and put it all back on. That's the plan, let's hope it works. Alright, so what I've done was I got the plate that I drilled these two holes in lined up and the hole that I drilled earlier where I missed the stud I got him started now I'm gonna mark and drill him that'll get the plate mounted once I have the plate mounted then I'll come back and get these four outside ones um, hopefully that'll work and then I'll take everything apart and seal it all right this is where we're at I marked right attach the top one then I marked the bottom one so I reused the same hole that I made earlier when I was looking for the stud and I drilled this and now I've got the plate mounted or at least temporarily mounted here now I'm gonna go back and mark these four and go ahead and drill those and get the plate permanently mounted then get the cradle mounted and hopefully seal everything up we'll see how it goes this is not the way I anticipated this project to happen Okay, I got the four screws from the plate in. Take out the two center screws. I'm gonna mount this. Make sure I've got the adjustment right because it is adjustable. Three slots here. It's adjustable. Make sure I've got that right. Make sure everything goes in and out properly and it rocks accordingly. And then um, take it all apart and put Buddha tape behind it. So let's get this mounted. Okay, we trapped. Let's see what happens. Should hit it, rock up, and give it support. I love it. Comes out automatically. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's see just how tight it is. <clears throat> It still wiggles a little bit, but it does not bounce up and down like it used to, that's for sure. I wonder if I can slide it up one hole. Let's find out. Then I'll take it all apart and seal it. Okay, I moved it up one notch on the adjustability and much more secure. I mean, it still has a little bit of flexibility, but you don't want to bow it the other way is what I, what I uh, read or saw, whatever. So that's where I'm gonna leave it on that adjustment. Um, I'm gonna take all six screws out, put Buddha tape behind them, put it all back together. I'll show you that here in a second. All right, so I had it all together, tried it, everything worked good, you saw that already. Um, I've just taken everything apart and I'm gonna put some, seal it so that we don't get any water in there. Um, I did mark with a T and a B for top and bottom for when I go to put it back up. Goes like that. So what I'm going to do is get some cardboard here so I don't scratch the surface that's exposed to the public. I buy this stuff all the time. You never know when you need it. I don't know. It's Buddha tape, butyl tape, buttle tape. I have no idea what you want to call it. But it works for sealing. And I've got a total of five holes on here. So I'm just gonna put a little piece on each of the holes. Then I'm gonna put my screws through, just get them started, and that way I'll be able to get it into the holes that I've already made. that one and about that long just covering all the holes completely so that we don't have any leaks. Okay. I just put these over here, and Angel's yelling at me for something. Hold on a second there, folks. Okay. Yes, ma'am? Will you fix her box? Yes, I will. Just set it aside, I'll fix it in a second. Okay. When, I, when I finish this little project. Thank you. Okay. The cat's box for sleeping in while we drive. She sleeps in a little box. I don't know why, but that's what she prefers to sleep in while we're driving. John's here. Okay, so now I'm just going to put the screws through here and get back up there and mount it. Okay, got all the tape on, or the gooey stuff, whatever you want to call it. The screws are up here. Going to feed the screws through. And that way I can get them lined up.
And there we go. All right, so there's the project done. Can't really see it, which is a good thing because it's black on black. But that's something that's been bugging me ever since the uh, Super C Rally. Um, I will give a shout out to those of you that know him on the forums as Rusty Nuts or at the Rally on the forum or on the Facebook pages as Brian. Um, I did not know that you needed to put a support on this length of an awning until I saw his. So just a shout out to him. Thanks for the idea. Um, Anyhow, it was a pretty easy project. Drilled some holes, filled them up with some goo, and mounted the plate. Um, I was hoping I could get a, uh, find the stud and just get uh, two screws, but I ended up having to use the plate and put a total of uh, uh, six screws into the side of the RV. But I think I got them all sealed pretty well. Uh, but anyhow, the awning will hopefully will no longer mount as we're going down the road. So another little project done. Um, Hope you learned something. If you need to do it or get, need part numbers, let me know. I'll try and remember to put them in the uh, in the description below the part numbers. So, uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And for those of you that have made it this far in the video, um, heads up, we are heading to Southeast Canada this summer, um, all the way up the north side of the St. Lawrence Seaway. A couple of weeks or a week in New Brunswick. A, week in Prince Edward Island, um, two weeks in Nova Scotia, and then a seven hour ferry ride with the RV over to Newfoundland for a couple of weeks. So, and then from there we head out to the rally in July out in Rapid City. So um, just a heads up, uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now so you can follow that and get all the notifications on um, all those videos of Southeast Canada. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.